Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, the dust has settled. Jim Harbaugh is gone. And look, the thing we need to do now is keep our eyes open on who's going to do what, what type of movement is going to take place. Um, if the defensive coordinator, and it sounds like he possibly will, if he goes Jesse Mintz, uh, we can expect some players from the defensive side of the ball to move and groove. We're hearing that they're getting ready to retain. Um, they've already retained uh, Shamal Moore, the uh, officer coordinator. So it appears that uh, he'll be the coach. But I guess some kind of law they have within the first seven days, they have to keep it posted. That's some kind of state law. I saw that yesterday. So, um, you know, that situation may be that. Now, if Jim Harbaugh takes this def defensive coordinator, we can expect some guys to move and groove. Um, you guys already know, we absolutely want this guy, number 55, man. He is the real deal. When he came out of high school, um, straight from Servite, he was the 209th player, top 300 player, um, 29th overall D-line guy. And I believe he's like number 13 in the state of California. So you talking about Mason Graham just being a big time guy, guy that USC absolutely needs. Um, I can even imagine just having him um, next to Bear rotate those guys out. Isaiah Rakes, man, if you looked at Michigan, Michigan's D-line, they, they were absolutely just incredible. And the rotation was incredible. You guys know, of course, they had Stewart that came from Coastal Carolina. He was down there on the edge uh, playing the same position as Jamil Muhammad. So these guys were rotating fresh and moving and grooving. And, I, you know, I kind of envision USC able to do the same thing with a guy like Bear Alexander, Isaiah Rakes. And of course, you guys know we got Braylon Shelby's down there. We got to have Cam Fountain. And of course, Elijah Hughes. We're going to have some of those guys want to rotate all those guys out um even anthony lucas and then you put a guy like graham in there man hopefully that's the wishful this wishful thinking this is wishful thinking thursday today you get a guy like graham in there and put him in the rotation i, I really think usc with the weapons that we have right now and you get one more guy like that and then you place one more guy maybe a veteran center or a veteran office alignment Listen, USC can do something special. They can make a run. What, what other pieces are we looking for other than maybe running back? So you guys can hit me in the comments on this. You guys can tell me what you think. Yeah, I believe Mason did total up a, a total of uh, 23 solo tackles. Total, um, total would be 38. And he had three sacks. So uh, he had a pretty productive year. Had pretty similar numbers the following year, the year before, prior rather. 23 total tackles and I think he had 2.5 sacks um something like 17 tackles so I think man this guy's he's a winner he's a stud I think USC absolutely needs to get him he's from the local area and if in the event let me go ahead and state that and make that claim real quick in the event that he enters the transfer portal listen USC needs to attack him ASAP this is where we need Coach Eric Henderson, and why wouldn't you want to play for a guy like Eric Henderson now? You know the production that he helps guys get to. You know the uh, technique that he teaches guys. You know the pro professional guys that have, have absolutely been around him. So why wouldn't you, you want to, um, unless you just want to be with your brothers, that's understandable. But, you know, usually when a team breaks up like this, you might see some guys scattered, especially as of late. These guys are absolutely scattering all over the world. Um, it's unbelievable. Uh, so you guys can hit me in the comment section. You go, you guys tell me what you think. I know that's a great selling pitch. I know that they, they got to be looking at that, given the fact that Eric did come from um, the Rams. So that is uh, that is a, a whole lot to think about if you're Mason Graham. So hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. USC, Mason Graham, that is a match made in heaven. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'm out of here until later on. Everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.